Yeah, yeah. Ah, Commissioner, what's up? What's up, Commish? Yeah, been a long time, bro. <laughs> welcome to the show. Welcome, welcome the masses that have been waiting 14 long minutes for me to hit the button. I'm here. Don't even worry about it. We're going to get started. Pump it up. Pump it up loud. Let's get ready. Getting started directly. Very special, very special night tonight. As the music gets hype. We travel through time, space, and dimension, my friends. For a very special edition of Global Four Council Action, man. You've read the news, you've seen the press release, you've seen the press conference. We got a hell of a main event in store. For your asses. Let's get ready. Let's get ready. We are live! Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, inside the historic forum for tonight's edition of Scuff City. Super Live! 14,715 screaming maniacs filling up the forum in Philadelphia for a hell of an edition of Scuff City action. Oh yeah, I am your hostess, literally with the mostest, Brian Benjamin Andrews, aka the king of games, welcoming you tonight. And as much as I'd like to talk about myself and my accomplishments, Notably last week at St. C11, where I beat Mike Tyson and Otis Lee to become the new King of Games. Tonight is of a different mood. Tonight, we go hardcore. Oh yeah, let's run down the matches. The California Collective, well represented here tonight. And for very good reason, we're live in Philadelphia. We know, we know the main event. We know that John Cena and Brandon Brandon have put up their World Tag Team Championships against Kings of Hardcore Raven and Steven Richards. And at that press conference a couple of weeks ago, things got a little bit out of hand and a huge brawl broke out, not just between John Cena, Brandon Brandon, Stevie Richards and Raven, but amongst the entire flock and the collective. Well, some people want to fight. We're going to give some people some fights. First of all, Bulem the Gillicuddy takes on Shotzi Blackheart in one-on-one -on -one action. And you see Sasha Banks is going to be accompanying Sasha to the ring. I hope Sasha can run fast because that tank goes quick. Oh, yeah. And then, in multi-universal championship division action, Adam Bomb makes his first appearance in season three as he takes on the T-800 himself, the Terminator, the Terminator, uh, who is known for ripping the arms off of narcs and, uh, you know, just killing people. You know what I mean? That's what he does, you know? He, he's sent to kill people back in time. That's kind of what that's kind of what the Terminator is all about. And then a little bit of a dream match just popping up here. Oh yeah, you see CM Punk is making his return to in-ring action against the best bout machine, Kenny Omega. And yeah, this is for some fun, but it ain't for nothing. All right, it ain't for nothing. CM Punk and Kenny Omega amongst the three men that have yet to compete on the men's side of the Global Sport Championship round of Robin series. These, these two men getting their first look right here tonight. Do these guys have a history? Not that I'm aware of. Not that I'm actually terribly aware of. <laughs> oh, man. Punk, Punk and Omega may have had some problems, but I think the real beef is between Kenny Omega and CM Punk's doggo. Uh... That dog has been banned from ringside, so we should be we should be okay in that regard. Following up here, our penultimate match of the evening. You saw it say and see. Eight women in the series match. Yo, what's up? Cube 
Yo, Q Backers. Thanks for the follow, homie. Welcome to Scuff City. Welcome to the broadcast. You're just in time for the show to start. Stick around for a couple minutes, and we're going to bring you the hottest wrestling action on Twitch today. This match a little bit further down the line. Lily Ayakashi scoring three falls. Nice background. Appreciate that, Holmes. Yeah. Wait, what's that emoji? Check mark. Two Keters. Oh, I, I need to change the font of my notifications. Yes. All right, two Keters. Two Keters. 2K Eaters. The Eaters of 2K. You're more than welcome in Scuff City anytime, my friend. Lily Ayakashi scoring three falls in that series match, one of which against Callie Edwards here. It's a little bit, it's a little bit of a controversy behind that. You see referee, you see our referee Greg Bryant was all the way across the ring in this false count anywhere elimination match. Could not even see Callie Edwards' shoulders pinned to the mat. Count of the three anyway. It was chaos, it was bedlam. That decision under official review, and we've come to this decision that Ayakashi and Callie Edwards are gonna go one on one to make that right. And of course, Toxic Attraction accompanying Callie Edwards, Gigi Dolan, and Mandy Rose to that match. And in the main event. Oh yes, for the World Tag Team Championships, Brandon Brandon and John Cena of the California Collective. Put those World Tag Team Championships on the line for the first time since beating the Bucks in the rubber match 30 minutes in hell. They made the special challenge out to the ECW Faithful Raven and Stevie Richards. This will be hardcore elimination. Oh yes, false count anywhere must eliminate both members of a team to win and lay claim to the Global Sport Council World Tag Team Championships. That's our main event, but we're gonna rewind it back and get started with our opening match. Did you download them from the downloadable content? No, sir. Uh, these are all, well, all the people that are quote unquote real, like Beulah McGillicuddy, Shotzi Blackheart. Uh, those, aren't, those aren't community creations. Those are mods. Those are mods. Uh, the world of modding is deep, deep, deep in 2K19, my friend. Uh, my show is a mix of my own shit, a bunch of other people's shit. Uh, you know, credits go out to JM, uh, to uh, Call Life, to Matt Fick, that provides so many good things. You'll see some of my own creations here. It's a mix between these real life people and avatars that people have sent me over the years and, uh, and my own beats. So, uh, this opening matchup here, Buell McGillicuddy versus Shotzi Blackheart. Now, if you head on over to GlobalSportCouncil.net, you can read all about that infamous press conference a few weeks ago at the Marriott in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. But John Cena and Brandon Brandon got into a huge, a huge brawl with Raven and Steven Richards. And that spilled over, not, not just to the competitors in that World Tag Team title match, but the rest of the members of the California Collective, including Shotzi and Sasha Banks, including, including Fula McGillicuddy. So we're gonna have this match right here. Let's go Shotzi. Brandon Brandon, you see here, competing in the main event, and he is the commissioner of Global Sport Council. We do nepotism, we do favoritism in this league. One hundo, one hundo. Let's go ahead and get into this match before I run the risk of talking too much. Yeah. 14,000 live in the form in Philadelphia for Scuff City Super Live, baby. Anxiously anticipating. Beulah McGillicuddy. She's a hottie. Well, anytime, Beulah. Anytime. One fall with a 30 minute time limit. Approaching the ring first from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. She weighed in tonight at 132 pounds. Eula McGillicuddy! Now you've seen Eula around since about mid season two, accompanying Raven to his matches. She actually done pretty well in the Impact Wrestling World Championship double elimination tournament last summer for falling victim to Bolt Otto in the loser's bracket. 
So take nothing away from this chick. She is hardcore. You just ask Bill Alfonso what Bill McGillicuddy is capable of. He'll tell you all about it. In enemy territory tonight. Yes, sir. Yes, sir, you are. Brandon Brandon's got a tendency to start to sing with people that are very dangerous. <laughs> Physically and politically. For sure. Give it up for Bill McGillicuddy, though. Looking good. Looking good. Oh, yeah. And here she comes. Woo! Yeah, look. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, she goes to that tank. Look out, everyone! Jesus Christ! Oh, look out! Beulah almost got Beulah almost got ran the fuck over! Good God! Take it easy, Shanti! And her opponent from Los Angeles, California. She weighed in at 146 pounds. Shanti Blackheart! Shanti Blackheart repping the California Collective 100%. She left Sasha Banks in the dust. You can't even give Sasha a ride. She's just amped for this match, baby. Oh, yeah. Beulah, nonplussed about the situation. And Shotzi's ready to go. All right, here we go. Referee Paul Simpkins ringing the bell to start this match. This opening match up here. Oh, there's like a bulldog headlock by Beulah McGillicuddy getting things started. Good pull Shotzi, not quite. You see a lot of escapes and reverses the opening moments of this match. Everyone trying to feel out their opponent, get a game plan ready to go. Shotzi dropping behind from that body slam. Gonna spin around. Nice Huracan Rana on a Beulah McGillicuddy. Now Shotzi's been obviously wrestling a lot more than Beulah McGillicuddy these days. But Beulah's got that nostalgia factor. She's been actually training hard. All right, since joining Global Sport Council, look at Shotzi off the ropes now, and a running knee. She kind of gingerly, kind of gingerly ended there. I don't know what she was holding back for, but she's got to make it happen. There's a kick right to the bridge of the nose. Snap in the toe. Shotzi's boot. Oh, watch out, Bill, a nice snap suplex. Taking down Shotzi. Trying to get some momentum going her way. There's Bill and McGillicuddy, there you go. There you go, that's what you gotta do to slam the back of her fucking head onto the mat. Go for a little pinfall. A little early, I would say. Simpkins gonna count the one. Shotzi's like, yeah, what are you what are you thinking here? What are you thinking? Nice jawbreaker. Shotzi making some space. Runner, ooh, running in Zagiri. Caught McGillicay right in the back of the head and damn, sucker style kick. And Shotzi's out for blood in Philadelphia here tonight. Scuff City is super live. Nice. Oh damn, oh my god, all the punches! Are you shitting me? By Beulah McGillicuddy. Damn! Raiding down like mad. Snap jab, probably got that from her, her little hubby. Tommy Dreamer, nice kick. Shots going for the chop, it's gonna connect. Oh no, McGillicuddy was stunned and Shotzi hit her with that code breaker. Shotzi to the top. Mula might be unawares. Oh look at this senton from 10 feet up. Into the pinball, she's gonna get Mula just like that. Two count only, two count only by Shotzi. That senton. My God, the height on the jump. She's a risk taker. She's a daredevil. She would have missed that other than curtains. And Beulah once again going to the punches. Look at the way Shotzi's head. <laughs> oh my God. She's hardcore. She's hardcore. Oh man. The Gillicuddy now. After surviving the senton, can she gain an advantage? Oh, she's got to put him in the Up over the top rope the hard way. That can't feel good. That cannot feel very good. McGillicuddy with a sign of life here. And a hanger out for the neck breaker right there. Very nice. Finally caught a good glimpse of Sasha Banks there. Going Sailor Moon style. Oh, multiple knees. I was going to say that the first knee wasn't looking too good, but McGillicuddy really really you making the most out of a situation here. And Beulah now, oh, she's got Shotzi set up. Is she gonna hit the even flow DDT? Damn, she did. 
Even Flow DDT connects into the pinfall. Is Bula going to steal it away from Shotzi here now? Shotzi able to kick out right at two. The damage is definitely done, man. And these two women going balls to the wall here in our opening matchup. The crowd of Philadelphia is loving it. What are you, what are you doing? What are you thinking there, Bula? Gonna pull in Shotzi. Pull up. Oh, nice vertical suplex to the inside of the ring. A lot of power and control there. Shotzi making a chest move here. It's gonna connect. Side rush and leg sweep. Out of the ring and back in. Nice way to disorient your opponent. Shotzi taking a second to play in the crowd. Um, I hope it works out for him. Nice clothesline. Pull it back in. Oh, but get clothesline again. Shotzi now, just three in a row. Laying in those clotheslines. Bula's in the corner now. Trying to get a rest, Shotzi. Line her up. Oh, maybe pause a little too long. Bula evading the contact. And that corner splash. Trying to get Shotzi up. Oh, slides behind. Nice reverse DDT by Shotzi Blackheart. This match has been back and forth. Oh, there's another code breaker. Is Shotzi going to follow up with another senton? Hit hard. Shots. Bullseye. On Bula McGillicuddy. Oh, McGillicuddy. Standing switch. Evaded the maneuver. Gonna pull up for a shit breaker. Yes, she is. I told you. I told you McGillicuddy's training hard. She knows what she's doing around here. Jawbreaker counter. But is she good enough to beat Shotzi? Go snap. Suplex. Shotzi back out. Combination. Two, two now. You're gonna have to hit Beulah a little bit harder than that if you want to keep it down for three shots of Blackheart. Let's kick to the head of McGillicuddy from neutral position. Powerball, no. Dreamer Power Driver! Oh no! And Shotzi looking up at the stars. Can she clear the cobwebs in time? No, she can't! That's gonna be three. That is gonna be three. But no, Mueller did the damn thing. Let's take a look back real quick. That, that was a good match. Com highly competitive match. I would, no one had a clear advantage. No one had a clear advantage in that match. Boom, in the match. As a result of a pinball, Mueller. Yeah, give it up for Beulah. Shotzi had a good one. Oh, wait, what are we doing here? Beulah! Oh, no! Beulah's got a chair! Oh, my God! Beulah with a chair! Beulah with a chair! Hitting Shotzi! Oh, my God! Yo! Oh, no! Oh, man! Put your clap! In the chat for Beulah, put your prayer emojis in there for Shotzi and Blackheart. Them shots were to the head, boy. Dang. Dang, man. Sasha will be getting revenge. <laughs> yeah, where was where was Sasha there? Sasha's like, hey, you want to leave me behind in the tank? I'm gonna leave you behind to get hit in the head with a chair. You know, take it for what you will. All right, let's, let's get these results in real quick. All right. Beulah. Mick Gillick, Cuddy. Singles. One fall. Exhibition. Finish. Oh, pinfall. Finisher. How driver. I don't know. Decisive. Uh, uh, uh. Match. The match was five minutes, forty-four seconds. All right.
All right, folks. What do you think, chat? What do you think, chat? We'll just keep it going. We'll just keep it going. Wasn't expecting that either. That was, uh, yeah, that was, although perhaps you should expect it in Philadelphia when the collective and the flock are beefing. You know what I mean? Shotzi did good. Shotzi did uh, pretty darn good. Honestly, it was a super competitive match. Uh, big ups to both women in that. Um, you know, Beulah, you know, firing the first shot here. We are getting hardcore. We're getting hardcore here in Philadelphia tonight, man. Definitely. All right. Let's move along to our second match of the evening right here. Ah, yes. Inside the multi-universal championship division. Adam Bomb making his return to Global Sport Council. After, after a brief stint elsewhere, he's come back, entered the multi-universal championship division, going to go one-on-one -on -one against the Terminator, who has been wrecking bodies as of late, 100%. The competition in the multi-universal championship division is heating up like crazy, especially with Santa Claus as its champion. So strong as a champion. Beat two cold Scorpio at Santa C11 last week. And uh, that was his that was Santa's second defense. Of course, Santa's only been on the roster since Christmas 2022. And, but uh, has you know drawn a line in the sand, basically. I don't know anyone that can beat Santa Claus right now. Maybe one of these two men will be the next to challenge Santa Claus for the Multi-Universal Championship. All right, let's get it going. Let's pump up the volume again. Let's get rocking and rolling here. I see. Uh, the following contest is scheduled for one fall inside the multi universal championship division. Approaching the ring first from Chernobyl, weighing in at 271 pounds, Adam Bomb. Uh, someone in the truck, if you could please. Uh, Hit us up with a little something. What are we doing here? Why? 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 Is this why we haven't seen Adam Bomb in a while? I assure you, 2K eaters, that Adam Bomb uh, has a full media package. It's just not playing tonight. That's just what that is. Doesn't bode well for the old Adam Bomb. Good lord. Hitchman forgot to hit the button. Is that what he does now? <laughs> Mike Hitchman's doing these days. Oh, shit! Oh, shit! And his opponent, manufactured by Skynet from the year 2032, weighing in at 947 pounds. I hate when a bug flies in my throat like that. That is fucking scary. That's that's <laughs> he's foregoing the skin on this evening. Oh, God Almighty. Ladies and gentlemen, the Terminator has just entered the forum. My mission is to protect you. I don't think that's true. I actually don't think that's true at all. Put a light bounce on too. I like that. I need your clothes, your boots, and your mobile cycle. 
definitely the greatest, one of the greatest movies of all time. It's one of the very few perfect movies out there. Oh shit, here we go. Adam Bomb and the Terminator fixing to get going. Referee rings the bell. Here we are. These two giants. And Adam Bomb raining down punches on the Terminator. Adam Bomb's a strong man, but the Terminator off the ropes. Oh, just a punch! Jesus! He just ran up and punched him with his endoskeleton. Going to work now on Adam Bomb. Terminator now. He, yo, jeez. Giving a heave ho. Throwing Adam Bomb by the head. Body slip. Adam Bomb. Slipping behind. Shot to the back. Bomb now. Take a Terminator for a ride. Off the ropes. Nice counter. Beautiful counter by the Terminator with that arm drag. And the hammer throw is going to send Adam Bomb all the way over the top rope to the floor. Don't mind the three jabronis at the announce table. They don't speak for me. Adam Bomb with the shot. Now to the guts. Doubling over the T-800 endoskeleton. Jawbreaker, there you go. Haymaker punch. The Terminator caught Adam Bomb first. What's he gonna do? Oh, head first goes Adam Bomb right into the apron. And they're just fighting it out. This is, by the way, a no holds barred match. It was on the marquee. I hadn't mentioned it yet. That's my bad. No, no disqualifications, no count outs, pinfalls or submissions inside the ring only. Okay. Adam Bomb seven up. There's a big clothesline. Finally takes the TA Hunter down for a little bit. Trying to push in the stomps here. Gonna get a shot in. He gets a shot in. Adam Bomb. Something of an advantage on the T-800 there. Oh, there's a kick to the guts. And the Terminator now. Pump handle. Oh, my God. Just flipped his ass over. Punched him in the face after. Just for good measure. Out of bomb. Fighting through it all. Holding the advantage for how long against the Terminator. And a bump. Nice edge chop. Woo. Maybe bending the steel a little bit right there. Front face lock, trying to cut off communication between the CPU embedded and the Terminator skull to the rest of his body. But it was for nothing. It's the Terminator. No! Adam Bump continuing the pressure. Nice snap there by the Terminator. Oh no! And the nerf, oh, pushing down. And when you weigh over 900 pounds and your fingers, can literally bend steel. That's really gotta hurt. Adam Bomb with a nice hurricane Rana. There you go. Adam Bomb doing the thing. I guess the Terminator. Look at it. Look at it hit a little five knuckle shuffle. Don't drop it. Right between the eyes. And Adam Bomb is chomping at the bit to put away the Terminator. Can he get him up? No, he can't. Terminator, what a clutch counter! Clutch, clutch counter! Dropping Adam Bump down with a DDT. And the end of days! The end of days on to Adam Bump! Into the pinfall. Is that a low be enough to keep Adam Bump down? Two count! And Adam Bump rolls the shoulder up at two. Woo! Adam Bump putting forth a supreme effort. Here's the Terminator here in the Florida, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Pinfall attempt by Adam Bomb. Not going to get anything out of that. Terminator out at one. Yeah, Terminator out at one. Right there by Adam. Nice uppercut by the Terminator. Got Adam Bomb up now. Look at this. Everyone cheer for me now. Everyone cheer for me now. Des Press, Adam Bump. Jeez Louise. Win, lose, or draw. Adam Bump is showing us what he is made of. And that is radioactive materials. All right? Look at this. Look at Adam Bump. Slipping out. The fireman's 
hold. Nothing to it. Adam Cole, big time face buster. And the skull of the T-800 might be starting to become damaged here. Adam Bomb wants to drop five more knuckles on his ass. To the far ropes, back again. Looking to spunk it up on his face, damn! The CPU is not down as low. Count one, count two, Adam Bomb! Two count! And the Terminator, man! It's not looking good for the Terminator right now. And Adam Bomb, you know he wants the FU. He wants to put the FU all over the Terminator's name! He hit it! He hit it! Into the pinfall! The upset of the Millennium Now no, the Terminator had it too again! What do you gotta do to kill one of these things? Oh man, Adam Bomb on the run of a lifetime! Nice close on by the Terminator. Wind up. Nice choke slam onto the knee. On the end of skeleton knee. He thinks it's enough. Will he get him? And just like that, the Terminator! Jesus Christ! Love! You see, our human hands are not strong enough to uh, Taking a look back here. Yeah, the FU failed that time. He did end up connecting with the FU. <laughs> How many angles of, of this fucking five knuckle shuffle can we see? For heaven's sake. Yes, Terminator kicked out of that. Yes, Terminator kicked out of that too. Adam Bomb put forth quite a fight, but in the end, it took. Two moves to put him away. The winner of the match as a result of a pinfall. The Terminator! You have been terminated. Yeah. I no longer have use for this professional wrestling ring. You know. Oh shit, the timer. <laughs> and the Terminator just exiting the ring casually. Oh, wait, what is... There's Adam Bomb. The Terminator standing over Adam Bomb. Okay, he's leaving. He's leaving, folks. It's okay. It's okay. I know now why you cry. What is something I can never do? Oh. One moment. Results in there, baby. Oh, I'm sorry. That shit is loud. That shit is loud. All right. Choke slam on me. Seven twenty-one. We'll take a minute off of that. Six twenty-one.
That was that was that was pretty damn good. That was pretty damn good. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. Adam Bomb did a lot better than I thought he was gonna do. Uh, Terminator pulled it out. He beat him with two fucking moves, basically. You know what I mean? Terminator is hot right now, and uh, Santa Claus. You better watch yourself, because the Terminator is on the rise. Ah, Terminator 3, ah, rise of the machines. Ah, ah, get to the chopper. I digress. I digress. Let's get to the next one. Let's let's keep it going. Let's keep in the, the quick action spirit here, folks. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. getting into the shit now we're getting into the shit the preliminary action has concluded <laughs> now we're getting into it now we're getting into it <laughs> the commissioner definitely rooting for cm punk in this match punk versus omega it's a dream match that hasn't happened yet aew hasn't had the nuts or the capability to pull it off and I know they're going to pack 80,000 people into Wembley in a few months. This will probably be the match then. But it's the match here tonight. And it's not for nothing. It's not just because I could. It's because CM Punk and Kenny Omega are both part of the Global Sport Championship Round Robin Series. Okay? And these two men have yet to have a match inside this season's series so henceforth these two men will have a match against each other in this series cm punk multiple times world champion one of the greatest of all time the best in the world versus kenny omega the greatest of this generation basically bar none basically bar none the only person in history to hold four world championships simultaneously in professional wrestling it's never been done before it'll probably never be done again okay kenny omega is one of one he is the called the best bout machine for a reason okay and it is it is the the warrior spirit the shotan and the you know the the overall work rate fuck if fuck me for saying work rate, of Kenny Omega that drives AEW from inception all the way to last night. All right, this is going to be a hell of a match inside the Round Robin series. Let's go ahead and pump it up and get it going. Is there any history between these two? Yeah, you may you may have heard of a, of a little situation called Brawl Out. Uh, I don't have I don't have my baked goods with me, but uh yeah, I mean, there's a reason that you hadn't seen Kenny Omega in a long time. There's a reason that you haven't seen CM Punk in a very long time. Okay, he's old, he's tired, and he has to work with fucking children. But that's why he's here in Global Sport Council, because he doesn't have to work with fucking children. Okay, we run a tight shit around here. We know what we're doing around here. And your wins and your losses and your opportunities, okay, are given okay by the strength of your performances okay by the strength of your character okay not because you're some evp i know i said i do favoritism but i do but i also don't do favoritism at the same time okay it's a sweet deal we got going on here it's unlike anything else in the world and that's why global sport council hosts the greatest wrestlers uh, in the world past present future Okay, so strap yourselves in. This match is going to be a little bit closer to what Global Sport Council is really all about. The competition, my friends. Let's pump this shit up. Let's fucking get ready to go. We take you down to ringside. What a night in Philadelphia.
The following contest is scheduled for one fall inside the Global Sport Championship Round Robin Series. Approaching the ring first from Chicago, Illinois. He weighed in tonight at 237 pounds. He is the best in the world. C. The crowd giving CM Punk the energy that they have. Welcome back, CM Punk, indeed. He's been out of action since July of 2022. He is here in season three to let us all know that he is the best in the world. Do you understand what I'm saying to you now? Oh, yeah. They love him in Philadelphia. Make no mistake about it. Oh, that's why the sound is so old. Ah, there we go. Whew, Punk looks good. You seen that close up of CM Punk? He's looking good. He's looking ready. Metaphorically speaking, 
and he paid the price. Back fist blocked by Punk. Knee side swipe. Back elbow. Punk trying to take control outside of the ring. Omega with the left hand. The second one blocked by Punk. Ref the four. Nice break by Punk. Like a shot blocked by Omega. Right hand connects. Omega with the back fist connects. Step up. Ends the gear. He swiped away by Punk. Right hand. Countered by Omega. Omega. Earth and Rana. No. Caught by Punk. Pulling his ass up. Look at the power bomb as the ref gets the seven. And Paul Simpkin saying, you got to get it in the ring. Punk going to take it in the ring. Those two men fighting hard. I'm going to give it up to Paul Simpkins for letting Punk know you got to take it the fuck inside the ring. Nice air raid crash. The kryptonite crunch. And Punk taking advantage after that brawl outside of the ring. There you go. Now, Punk, wake it up. Right hands. Rapid fire to the face of the best belt machine. CM Punk now. He's going to do right hand. Ducked under by Omega. These two men throwing so many shots at each other. Punk sending the throw. Omega following. Sucking this by standing switch. Omega with a knee out of that corner. Stunned Punk for a moment. All over the top of the head. And Punk now, back body drop. Omega holding on on the apron now. Punk with the right hand, no block. Omega's gonna come back into the ring. Advantageous position for Omega. Rip for big trigger! Pitfall attempt off the big trigger. Left the count. Two now. Punk out at two. He got caught right under the jaw with that V-trigger. Damn, son. That is pretty cool. Yep, the whole thing's pretty cool. And Omega, he thinks he's rock punk enough. He wants the one-winged angel. He wants the one-winged angel right now. He connects. He got punked with the one-winged angel. Will he put him away? No! No! Omega, a victim of his own zealotry. Went for the one-winged angel, connected, but early. Standing Hurricane Rana takes down Punk. He noticed Omega took the turnbuckle cover off that top right turnbuckle there. Punk pushing off the cover. There's that leaping knee. Caught Omega right in the jaw. Referee Paul Simpkins, he's gonna, he's gonna put that turnbuckle cover back on. Punk laying in more shots. And he's gonna, he's fighting from underneath at this point. After eating the V-trigger. After eating the one-winged angel. Somehow still in it. Fujiwara armbar with a jackknife hold. Look at this hold. Oh, too much. Omega rolled through. Omega rolled through. Damage is done though. Definitely a bump. He's taking some time trying to recover from his own move. And Omega by the arm once again. Nice forearm shiver by Kenny Omega. Come from behind. German suplex. Throwing up Kenny Omega. Puck now, letting the crowd know it's his match. It's his match to win. But not if Kenny Omega has anything to do about it. Kenny Omega, the current New Japan Pro Wrestling United States Champion. Man, nice elbow. And a double chop by CM Punk. Puck's the clothesline, upper ropes out. The Punk with a leaping clothesline, taking down Omega. That's a retreat to the corner. Punk not giving any quarter. Walks into a front elbow. Right hand. Omega. Oh no, he's got him again. Big trigger! In the pitfall. Punk has the ropes. Punk has the ropes. The damage is done. But Punk afforded another chance. He had pin break. He had pin break. Oh shit, the punk knee. And Omega, he's so quick. He's so quick with those knees. He can hit you from just about any direction he would ever want to. Omega, out of the corner. Oh no. There's the beat trigger! From across the ring, the big time home run shot! Can he put Punk away here now? Punk is taking so much punishment in this match! Omega is looking at about as best as we've ever seen him. She has not put away Punk to this point. And now Omega sits on the top rope. He won't fly. Frog splash. Punk got the knees up. Punk got the knees up. Omega hurt. Spin kick. Just, just able to reverse the shot from Punk. Omega out on the apron now. Punk here. Following Omega out to the apron. 
got a hold. Oh, shit! Oh, shit! CM Punk with a DDT on the apron to Kenny Omega. Count with a clothesline into a trip. Oh, man. And every time, Punk has stepped up and hit something. All of that momentum. He, like, CM Punk has not been able to gain any momentum in this match. He's hit his moves. He's hitting moves. But the pace of this match has been controlled by Kenny Omega. And the longer this match goes on, the worse it is for CM Punk if it continues in this pattern. Punk with a shot for the arm. Standing over Omega. His chance now to do some damage. A standing cloverleaf. Look at this. Look at the low angle on Punk. Able to wrench the knees to the side even. Omega's in pain. Omega's in some deep pain right now. He's got to fight through it. He's gonna roll out. Push up. Omega back to his feet. Neutral position. Kick to the gut to CM Punk. Pulling Omega up. CM Punk now. Oh, jeez! Flatliner transition into the arm bar. Commissioner! Commissioner Brandon! What the fuck is going on? Is that the move? Is that the move? Was that it right there? Are you kidding me? Omega able to roll out of that. Able to scoot away from it. Oh, man. Hit the clip button. Check this out. Oh, no, he don't do it, Omega. Oh, no. I thought he was going to do one the angel. Huge elevated German suplex into the bridge. And he got pumped. Come to lose here tonight, folks. Not even, not even CM Punk could break the stride of Kenny Omega on this night. He did do great. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner of the match as a result of a pinball, Kenny Omega! All right, the Punk offering his hand. Good sport, decent. I mean, what do you do at that point? I mean, you got got by the best. You got got by the best. CM Punk, you weren't terrible. But on this night, Kenny Omega is unstoppable. Double so Sport Council can bring people together. That's right. That's right. And now you know everything is going to be okay because we just demonstrated it. That was a heck of a match. That was a heck of a match. something else oh Brandon catch the replay I'm I'm telling you you know based on your description that punk just used your move punk just used your fucking move he deserved to lose what a fucking snake in the grass is that CM Punk they put in the results man Try to go back, but you can't go back while live. Yeah, I'm telling you, I, I it was like he basically hit a flatliner, like pulled him down by the arm, and then like rolled around and wrenched back. Uh huh.
Yeah, the, I agree, dude. I agree. The matches have been fucking really good. Really good. Alright, let's... Let's go ahead and continue on here. Timer. Okay. All right. Here we go. Here we go. Perhaps this should have been third. I mean, after the after the absolute clinic Kenny Omega put on, but. Uh, this match necessary, folks. Okay, necessary. We've seen last week Saint at C11, the battle beyond reality. Okay, eight people, eight eight woman eliminator style match called a series match of the bottom eight competitors in the women's global sport championship round robin series. Okay, Lily Ayakashi had Callie Edwards down for a pinfall outside of the ring. This was false count anywhere elimination style. Okay. The referee of the match, Greg Bryant, was outside of the ring on the opposite end of the ringside area. Could not see the pinfall. Heard that heard that the pinfall was happening. You saw him stutter step like he was going to run over there. It would have taken, you know, as much time to run over there as the pinfall would have taken. He made the decision to count the pin from about 23 feet away with the ring obstructing his view. And the ring was obstructing the camera's view as well. So we don't know. We don't know for sure if Callie was really down for three. Neither did Greg Bryant, per to be perfectly honest. Lily Ayakashi ended up winning that whole match and racking up three falls in that match. Callie Edwards finished with one of her own, but fell to Lily Ayakashi. This one, we're running back. Okay, we are running this match back. And uh, just to show you what we're what we're dealing with here, okay. All right, see here, two A, two B, two C, two D, two E, two. This is the series match, eight woman elimination style, falls count anywhere, okay. Callie got Danny, Lily got Jordan, Ikaru got Ivory, then Lily got Callie right here on the fourth fall. All right, we're gonna run this match, and the win. You know, if Cali wins, we're changing this. That's all there is to it, okay? And that's all there is to it. Cali Edwards, a former global sport champion in her own right. All right. You see her flanked by her besties, Mandy Rose and Gigi Dolan. Together, they are ta toxic attraction. JC Jane has been left in NXT to do her thing, and that's fine and dandy. Okay? JC's fine with the whole thing. No problem. Uh, Callie Edwards, since hooking up with her besties here in Global Sport Council, has has lost the Global Sport Championship to, to a worthy contender in Tessa Blanchard. Don't, don't get it twisted. But... The three of these, as singles, tag, or trios, have yet to win a single match since coming together as Toxic Attraction. Callie Edwards is the only person with a fall, all right, in that series match last week at Saint at C11. So this this kind of hangs in the balance for Callie Edwards and for Toxic Attraction, to be perfectly honest. You know what I mean? That was a great match. Do you mean the series match? It was pretty good. Excuse me. Excuse me. All right. Let's get ready. Let's get set, man. We'll take you back to ringside in the forum. Philadelphia is hot tonight, guys. Contest 
is scheduled for one fall. Approach in the ring first from Japan. She weighed in at 146 pounds. Lily Ayakashi! Now, Lily Ayakashi, one of the young rising stars of season three, has been doing the damn thing, if I'm going to be perfectly honest. All right? She's proved herself. Now, she, you know, her win, her win overall in that series match is not up for debate. Just this fall, she was impressive throughout otherwise. All right? You can't take that away from her. She's been doing good. The crowd, the crowd gave her a nice response in Philadelphia as well. Nice. I like Lily's deal. I like Lily's deal. I like the, I like the kimono. I like kimonos. And her opponent. Representing toxic attraction. She weighed in at 132 pounds. Kelly Edwards! There you see Kelly <laughs> going towards the back end of the ringside area. And that's all right. She lets her girls have their fun. Kelly is the de facto leader of Toxic Attraction, to be sure. Mandy Rose is always going to be a shit talker. Jules Gray Griffin's on the edge of her seat. Yes. Yeah. You know, since that awesome night, the Toxic Attraction invited Jules Gray back to their pad. They got all drunk and shit. You know, party. Uh, they haven't called. They haven't called Jules Gray Griffin. Jules has texted. Jules has texted Gigi a few times, but hasn't hasn't texted her back. All right. In this match, to determine. The rightful winner of that fall is underway. Call her a little tie up to start things off. Pally. Push Lily into the corner here. Referee Paul Simpkins gonna instigate a clean break. Come on. Come on, let's wrestle. Let's wrestle here. Alright, let's go. Oh, Lily Ayakashi, nice roll through. Taking a single leg. Putting her weight down on the leg of Pally Edwards. Lily Ayakashi, I haven't, I haven't yet, I haven't yet determined what her finishing maneuver is, but I can tell you about Callie Edwards and that step over headlock that she does is damn dangerous. Oh shit! Speaking of dangerous, Lily Ayakashi just tossed Callie Edwards over the top rope, all the way over the top rope, and down to the floor, man. Head first. Oh, did you hear that impact? Hey, Mandy, get over there. Protect your girl. The ref's count has started. Gonna keep fighting it out. Kick caught. Step over. Teal kick right there by Lily Ayakashi. Great counter. Great counter. There you go. That's yeah. That's enough. And Callie pushing off. The ref gets the five running. Close line. Gonna take down Lily Ayakashi. We're not happy about that. In Philadelphia man. Callie pulling up. Lily rolling up. Nice drop kick. Nice standing drop kick. To counter a running, a charging Callie Edwards. And Akashi now locking in that arm wrench. And pulling it back again. And look, oh, oh, look at that. You, you even heard her, the grunt with the power going there. Akashi, what's she trying to do here? Surfboard hold. Oh, man. Crushing the legs. I'm going to pin fall. Callie going to be out at one. That makes sense. Callie's out at one. But Lily, I've noticed, has targeted the legs a lot in the opening minutes of this matchup. I can see nowhere, nowhere to be found was Callie Edwards in that drop kick attempt. Right hand slapped away. Ayakashi. Four and seven blocked by Callie Edwards. Edwards now. Actually setting Ayakashi into the ropes. Ayakashi sweeping behind with a kick. Belly to belly. No, nice. Nice elbow counter. And a drop kick by Callie Edwards takes Lily Ayakashi down. Crowd. A little cold, a little cold on Callie here. Applauding some of the moves, but 
They don't want to see Toxic Attraction do well. They don't want to see us win, man. There you go, back double counter. Callie Edwards looking to get it going in this match. Standing drop kick, there you go. The other woman with a clear cut advantage yet in this match. One of the hearts and hearts of the Philadelphia fans. Callie Edwards ain't got shit. Yeah. Oh man. Going Billy Ayakashi too. Oh Philly, don't change. Don't ever change Philadelphia. Oh now we like it. Now we like it. Okay. Yeah, okay. You picked your favorite. Really, I caution it. Stomps and kicks. I thought she said it was going to Callie Edwards. Going to turn around and oh, back in the mark. I caution it. Going for a butterfly suplex here. No! Wow, Callie Edwards! Quick and nimble, landed on her feet with a full front flip. And a step over. Oh, the step over headlock! Step over headlock! Ayakashi, wait, Ayakashi has her arm up! No, oh, Callie has that trap too! And Edwards desperately holding on! Ayakashi's gonna get out of that, and I, you know, I'm, I'd have to agree with that. I mean, that's the first real move that Callie Edwards has done that anyone's done. Wow, landed on her feet again! And Callie Edwards! With this complete shot! Into the pinfall right there. Position on that complete shot. I'm just saying. That could have been a three. That one could have been a three. Alright, caution. Oh! Nice lead by Callie Edwards. He's picking up the pace in this match. And I would say, there you go. Nice elbow drop by Callie Edwards. And again, two in a row. Callie Edwards. Ooh, wait a second. Ah, there it is! Row. What a vertical on that third one. And Edwards not done jumping. Going straight to the top row. Ayakashi's down. And oh, the no. whole ass first. Ass first lands Kelly Edwards. In the recover. Ayakashi's going for a, a sliding elbow. Just missed Kelly Edwards. Callie hit hard, but I don't think she hit that hard. Oh, the arm drag, and Callie Edwards out at two. Out at two. Yeah, I wanted her to tap out too, but honestly, that was the first real move of the match. The next forearm shot by Callie Edwards. Complete shot! Got her again! Got her with the complete shot again! That's right there! That's gonna be all for Lily Ayakashi, folks! Thanks for coming! Let's go! Oh, oh no! Oh, man! Oh, yeah, I'd be pissed too! I'd be oh. She kicked out, she kicked out for sure that time. Two and three quarters. Belly to belly! Belly to belly suplex by Lily Ayakashi. Big time impact. Ayakashi's feeling that shit now. Will Barrel into the pinball. Look at this combination! Hey, Rick, are you fucking gonna get the count here? And Kelly able to break it up after one. Paul Simpkins drunk on the job again. Ayakashi off the ropes, there you go. Series of clotheslines. I think Ayakashi may have had Callie Edwards as well. It's heel hook. Ayakashi with a heel hook here. She was targeting the leg early on in the match. Not enough, not enough power there. There's Mandy Rose. Mandy Rose trying to take a turnbuckle pad off right in front of the ref. I guess it's a 50-50 shot if you can do it in front of the referee, you know what I mean? This kind of like Kali Edwards getting out of that double arm range. It hurts like a bitch. Edwards setting in the turnbuckle. Ayakashi not going to play. Ooh, ate a knee to the guts. Kali Edwards. This arm range. Oh, jeez. God, that damn elbow shot. Ayakashi. 
He's got Edwards now. Oh, no, Grave Buster to the knee. Grave Buster to the knee. And Callie Edwards put a foot under the ropes right there. Ayakashi taking it in stride. A definite mistake in the positioning of that pinfall. But she, th she says it's going to be okay. And now Ayakashi up to the top rope. She's going to give it a try. Edwards getting to her feet. That's Ayakashi have in mind here. Hurricane Rana. No! Nice, nice power bomb counter. Do a stack up 10 count two. Oh, and Ayakashi out at two. Damn, what a match. What a match this has been. Back and forth. What drama. What drama we've had. Both of these women show why they are at the top of the Global Sports Championship division here. I'm telling you. Gonna hang Edwards out to try. There you go. Seen it a hundred times. It still hurts. It still hurts. Paul's having a terrible time. Yeah. He's just trying to keep it together. Look at this. Oh, oh, oh. The step over. Step over headlock. Step over headlock. There's no escape this time. There's no escape this time. And Lily taps. Lily taps. That is it. That is it. She did it. She did it. I love these elbow drops. Oh, so we're not gonna see them. Took me arm drag, that was nice. I don't know why Lily went for a pinfall there, but whatever. Complete shot! Is that the one that, that was the one that Paul Simpkins fucked up? Ladies and gentlemen, for the winner of the match, as a result of a submission, Cali Edwards! For the first time, Toxic Attraction got together in January 2023. A member of that faction has scored a definitive, definitive decision. Callie Edwards, man, coming back into form. That's what's up. 903 on the time? All right, thanks, brother. <laughs> I appreciate that. Now that's doing some commissioner work right there. Why does she have Miles' music for her, her winning music? Some things I'll just not understand about how this game works. I swear. <laughs> oh, I'm putting in the results. Miles is hot right now. Miles is, is actually really hot right now beat john cena's ass before beating john cena's ass in five minutes was cool you know what i'm saying cena took notes from that match and take, took an awesome theory he's like how about we have a wrestlemania like this how about you just beat my ass in five minutes you know what i mean that's how that went whoa 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 whoa, whoa. finishing maneuver step over headlock Title match. No, 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 no. Match like 70903. It was a good match. All right. Simpkins was out of the shin multiple times. May have, maybe, maybe drunk. Yeah, I wonder what Miles is thinking about doing next for that Intercontinental title, you know?
Well, folks, it's been a it's been a great night so far. In Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, at the Forum. Now it is time, for what you've all been waiting for, the main event. Oh yeah, oh yeah, the California Collective, baby. John Cena and Brandon Brandon, two-time World Tag Team Champions, making their first defense of this reign, giving a special throwback opportunity to his favorites in ECW, two of them any, anyway. Raven and Stevie Richards. Oh yeah, the flock is here and it is time, yes, Commissioner, to get extreme. This, my friends, is a hardcore elimination match. Weapons are not only encouraged, they are provided. Tornado style, elimination style, falls count anywhere. Both members of the team must fall for your team to win and claim the Global Sport Council World Tag Team Championships. Brandon Brandon and John Cena have been the franchise of this division for two years. It has been Brandon Brandon and John Cena. And for, and for a sleepy spell, the Young Bucks took those titles away from the California Collective. It is true. But as we've seen at the untitled finale, there is no team better in this league. There's no team better in this world. Perhaps no team better ever than John Cena and Brandon Brandon of the California Collective. It is a bloodline reign for the Collective. The Collective is big Patrick Mahomes fans too. <laughs> <laughs> Brandon, just for that, just for that, you get 50 bonus points at the end of this match. Yeah. Yeah, you're getting 50 more points for that. You get whenever I put in when I put in these results, I'm going to add 50 points to your take. Yeah, for sure. That was that was timely. Mm, that was a good one. Put the check mark. Absolute banger. Oh, man. This match is going to be a banger. This is the potential to go everywhere. And uh, if I have trouble following the action, well, I apologize. But this is going to be chaos. This is going to be extreme. This is going to be destruction. Okay? We're, you want to talk about blood and guts? Here we go. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Look at top. That's what. There we go. Goddamn. At least we got the music. 
good Stevie Rich. It's good to see him back in action, man. He's definitely one of the good ones. Yeah. I'm glad he's getting his flowers right here a little bit. Good. Good. Stevie Richards is an underrated performer. All right, 100%. 100%. I'm so glad you're getting this opportunity, man. Doing it together. And here's the California Collective. There's Cena. There's Brandon. Very good. Very good. These guys, I'm telling you, they've seen them all. They've beat them all, basically. There's a whole underclass below bubbling to get shots at the World Tag Team Championships. But just like so many others, it is, it is basically a foregone conclusion that the California Collective will reign supreme as World Tag Team Champions. Oh yeah. I want to introduce you first, the Challengers, representing Extreme Championship Wrestling at a total combined weight of 504 pounds, Stevie Richards and Raven! And their opponents representing the California Collective at a total combined weight of 521 pounds. They are the World Tag Team Champions, John Cena and Brandon Brandon! Oh yeah, just, here we go, here we go. The collective, they know, they know the deal. They know the routine. Raven and Stevie, this is the biggest shot that they've ever had in their life. And here we go, hardcore elimination match. It's seen right off the gate, whips the, whips the big shoulder tackle. Raven with a nice neck, Raven with a Neck breaker. Really nice neck break, Raven. Whoa, whoa, damn! What a drop kick! What a running kick by Stevie Richards, man! Oh, man! And Richards, neck break, counter out. John Cena moving the neutral. And Raven with neutral position. Big body slam. John Cena. This person with suplex. And Raven with a nice stylistic elbow. Here we go. Oh, man. Getting started inside the ring. This is false count anywhere, folks. And just as I say, and Brandon Brand taking Stevie Richards to the outside. Oh, yeah. This match can go anywhere and everywhere. Brandon, go for an early pinball. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. You see Brandon's face bouncing off the announce table in the hands of Stevie Richards right there. That's got to be cool. Oh, Richards off the apron. He's got a table! We got tables! Oh, here's a punch into the table, into Stephen Richards. Did you see that, Brandon? Did you see him punch the damn table? Man alive. Cena and Raven still fighting it out back and forth. Neither one of them has had any kind of advantage. Brandon Brady in the back elbow. Oh! The even flew DDT! Holy shit! From Raven into the pitfall. Brandon out! And now, Raven with a pin on John Cena! <laughs> Paul Simpkins! They don't know what to do! They don't know what to do! Oh my god! What a blunder! What a... 9, 10, 11, 12! It's never gonna stop! It's never gonna stop! Raven. Oh, me! Into that! That was a nice combination as 
a matter of fact. And uh, what are we doing here? What are we doing here? Raven and John? No, we're not doing that. Just a sec. Just a second. It's very rare that it happens, but uh, this is what you got to do. Oh, my fucking God. Controller assignment. Why can't I do that? I can't do controller assignment. Well, someone's got to hit Raven. Thank you, Brandon, Brandon. All right, there we go. And Brandon, oh, with a DDT on Raven. And now he's got Steven Richards. Falcon Arrow. Holy shit. Brandon said, fuck all this garbage. our show for tonight folks holy shit ah uh, well <clears throat> ladies and gentlemen no i don't want to sound like i don't, I don't want to like you know i don't want it to be stupid but like, I want to give you guys at least, I want to at least give you guys your flowers, you know. The winners of the match. And still, the Global Sport Council World Tag Team Champions, John Cena, Brandon Brandon, the California Collective. My man, I, I, you know, I, it was a good idea. You know, if the match would have lasted maybe longer than five minutes, maybe it would have went somewhere. Uh, I mean, neither of those guys, neither of those guys are low, are low rated. You know, Steven Richards was like a 68 or something. I pumped them up to an 80 something. It's not like, you know, I put you in against jabronis or jobbers. They were, you know, they made, I made sure 
to make them contender level. They weren't at the Young Bucks level by any stretch. Yeah, I'm, I'm really, uh, yeah, win's a win, I guess. You really, I'm sorry. I, I'm, I'm sorry. And maybe we'll have a, a, a booking, a little booking meeting about this. Here's the question before we sign off, folks. I want to thank you guys for tuning in. It really was a good show. We had some great matches. The main event, it was what it was. All right? It was what it was. It was not competitive in the slightest. It was It was just, we showed up. We showed up to Philadelphia, and you, and you guys just embarrassed their heroes. You didn't give them what you promised. You just beat their ass and walked out. You know, sometimes, sometimes, <clears throat> sometimes it's the statement, you know, and that's why, that's why uh, professional wrestling is a soap opera. You know, in this episode, you just beat their ass. And that's, that's all, that's all it was. You just beat their ass. Yeah, mega heat for you, and you guys might be a little disappointed as well. I mean, honestly, because if they would have brought it, you would have fought harder. You know what I mean? They didn't bring it. That's all there is to it. That's all. That's that's all there is to it. And uh, what's next for the what's next for Cena and Brandon? All right, who can beat Cena and Brandon? We will find out at some point in time. Not tonight. That's for sure. Tune in next week as the California Collective defends their World Tag Team Championships again. Oh, I'm just joking. It was so cool to see a table. <laughs> there, it, there it is. You know, I was like, oh, good. They're getting the, you know, getting the table out early. So, like, let's go, you know. Man. Insane. Insane. Uh, we're going to sign off here. Tune in next week for more Global Sport Council action. All right, the National Championship, the Intercontinental Championship. All right, those stories continue. All right, the Television Tag Team Champions, Cheech and Chong, will be in the house. Will they wrestle? Will they make a match? I don't know. We're going to find out. So tune in next week and every Tuesday. I know it's Thursday tonight, but it's Tuesday most of the time, 7 p.m., 6 central, live on twitch.tv slash Global Sport Council. Make sure you hit up globalsportcouncil.net for all the results, for all the news, the interviews, the stories, everything. All right? And we will see you guys next time.